Patrish here from Air Kitty Bracelets, and today I'd like to show you how to read the three basic types of patterns. Um, you've got your, your normal patterns, your kumihimo patterns, and your alpha patterns. Alright, so I'd like to show you how to read a normal pattern first. And the first thing you want to look at is your letters. It can range from A to Z, and it will have as many colors as there are in the pattern. For example, this one has two colors. So, A is this orange color, and B is this pink color. And then, after that, what you want to look at is how many strings are in the pattern. Each, each one of these little loops here is a, is a string. So, this pattern consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight strings across with four knots per row. And there will be numbers on the side of the pattern row. So this one will be row one, row two, row three, and row four. There are four rows for this pattern. Okay, so when you look at the strings, these little circly things here, each one of these tells you what knot it is supposed to be and what color it will be going into the next row, like right here. And when you're doing a forward knot, it'll it'll appear as a downward diagonal to the right. Your backward knot will appear as a downward di diagonal to the left. And then when you get these strange bendies, this means it will go forward, so your first half of the knot will go forward in a fo into a forward knot, and then going this way means that it will turn into a backward knot, turning it into a forward-backward knot. And then, if you see a circle with this one, it will be a backward knot going into a forward knot to keep its place on that color. And when you see these, this means that they are omitted from that row. And I think that is all I need to tell you about this pattern. Now, let's go into the Kumihimo, Kumihimo pattern. This basically shows you what it will look like. When you look at the actual patterns, this will show you what the actual pattern will actually look like. It's this little box here. But this will actually show you where your strings fit on the Kumihimo disc, on this thing. When you look at this, there will be little blocks like this. And each one of these blocks is two strings. And this is a pair of strings right here. So this is a pair of oranges, and this is a pair of blues and so on and so forth. And that's where you want to put them on your disc. For example, this orange right here, there'd be two strings that go right here. Both of these would be orange, and both of these would be orange, and these would be orange, and then you would put these diagonal ones right about here on each corner. So, and then it'll tell you how many strings that you have in this pattern. For example, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pairs of strings. So that would be 16 strings in total. And yeah, that is your Kumihimo pattern right there. Now for the alpha patterns, each, each one of these will look like a grid because, well, they are, I guess. And then when you look at them, each one of these lines, depending on how you like to look at your pattern, or this way, will be how many strings you need. For example, if you want it 14 strings, and this one's a 13 by 14, if you want it 14 strings, it will go this way, and each one of these will be a string. Or if you want it 13 strings, 
Each one of these will be a string and each line will go down like this. And basically, you just want to take your, your one string, your background string, and then you will start doing your forward knots like this across your pattern or your backwards knots depending on which way you like to start and then when you come back like this if this is a multicolor alpha pattern then you would just swap out these for the color of whatever you are using and just keep going with forward knots if this is a two-tone alpha basically just two colors then these would be backward knots instead of forward knots and then you would just keep going across and then these would be forward knots and these would be backward knots and so on and so forth but yeah hey that's basically all i need to cover for the alpha patterns thank you for watching and hopefully you have a nice day and we'll see you in the next video